So what are crossroads? And why are they important? Hi, I'm Reena Shah, India's first woman polo player, founder and owner of Rinaldi Polo, footwear designer, DJ and drummer, and now founder of Totem, a resto bar in Goa. I've been at multiple crossroads in my life, but all have taught me one important lesson. Trust yourself and take the plunge. Crossroads gives you an imp- opportunity to explore your potential. Crossroads are never a comfortable place to be in. It's where you change or where transformation takes place. And most often, people don't embrace change easily. I've been at a crossroads multiple times in my life. This has happened to me especially when I have achieved something worthwhile. Back in my school days, I used to be an athlete and had won many races. I was competing in various inter-school competitions at that time. However, my mother wanted me to be a classical dancer. Unfortunately, when you're young, you have limited control over your choices and your parents end up making most of your decisions for you. This led to me be- becoming a Kathak and Bharatnatyam dancer at the early age of eight. Let me tell you that I don't regret it at all as I gave it my 100% and ended up doing a lot of performance across the country. That's the choice I made even though it wasn't my choice. That's the plunge I took with honesty and gave my 100% to it. Do your best to embrace uncertainty. Some of the best chapters in your life won't have a title you feel fully comfortable with until later. That's life, I guess. In college, I studied commerce and computers and then went to Harvard to complete my university course as my parents wanted me to do computer and business administration. Don't get me wrong, 30 years ago, that was the career to be in as it got you a lot of money. But deep down, I always knew that that was not my calling and I wanted to do something that was creative. Fashion was my calling, but I had to finish my education and quitting was never an option. Somewhere deep down, I knew that I had to make it happen. You might be stuck in a situation in your life where you have varied career opportunities. At such a time, I would recommend that you always listen to your gut. That will tell you what you are good at and where your passion lies. I was about to give my third year exam when my parents introduced me to someone for an arranged marriage. When I met the guy, I was under the impression that if I told him that I wanted to pursue fashion and go abroad, he would decline the proposal. Instead, he said that he would totally support me and would even help me out. I was shocked. I saw this as an opportunity. I believed him. And he did support me. Here again, I took the plunge. That's how I started studying fashion and accessories for one and a half year in New York. I went on becoming India's first footwear designer. It's important to remember that we all need support systems when you're at this crossroads. Either a mentor, a friend, a lover, parent or anyone else. It can also be your strong, innate inner voice giving you all the push that you need. They support your dreams and help you achieve your path to success. And most importantly, you need to believe in yourself and work towards it. Sometimes you might never get the support of a loved one. But if you look around, you will surely meet or find someone, even a stranger, who could help you in the smallest ways. Check in with yourself. How are you growing at this phase in your life? What are your passions? Are you happy? And is what you're doing fulfilling you? I always wanted to play a sport in my life. I wanted to own a team and play for it. Earlier, I used to be extremely busy with my career as I started at a very early age at 22. And my offices were located both in India and New York. When I got back from New York to India in 2011, I went to watch a game of polo in Mumbai. I instantly fell in love with the sport and the majestic horses. At that time, it seemed like the most difficult thing to even try. I went back home and for days on, I could not get the sport out of my head. I was thinking to myself if I should even give it a shot considering I'd never ridden a horse in my life. But somewhere in my gut I had a feeling and it gave me a sense of confidence. I thought the least I could do was give it a shot. My family and friends were against it as polo is a very dangerous sport. You can say that it was another crossroad where I got no support from family and friends. But I did have a few mentors along the way who helped me keep going and my inner voice pushed me to take that plunge. A leap of faith that I can do it no matter what. Not taking a shot at something that I want to do was never an option for me. 
So I decided to give it my best shot and learn horse riding for a year. After that, I went to Argentina and USA for training. And in a short span, I was recognized as India's first woman polo player who owns her own polo team. It was huge. I think it was the most difficult thing that I have done in my life. But I gave it all I had. I had a lot of injuries and doubts from time to time. And I thought of quitting on multiple occasions. But I wasn't one to give up. Trust your gut because that guides you, pushes you to go get it. You have to remind yourself how far you have come. And giving up is not a choice. I would rather give it my 100% and fail than regret not trying at all. I would rather take the plunge. I knew one thing for sure. To be extraordinary, I would have to follow a more challenging path. It is never easy, but nothing is impossible if you give it your best. Sometimes you might not achieve what you want and sometimes you might be wrong with not following your heart and gut. You might even start to regret it. But it's been 10 years since I have been playing polo and I feel like this has been the best decision of my life. Choice will, choices will always be at your crossroads, forcing you to embrace either the right or wrong, the easy or the hard, the light or the dark. It's up to you to decide which path you want to take. Only you can decide and no one else. Life gives you the opportunity to do what you really want. But you need to be aware when the opportunity is right. That's when you grab it with both hands. Whenever you are at crossroads and can't decide what's best for you, remember not to let age, gender or any such factor or even a person let you affect your decision. You are the best judge of what you want and what you're passionate about. People can guide you, advise you, but you are the one who needs to decide. You do it so that if things don't go according to plan, then you don't blame others for your failure. Let me tell you something. Six years ago, I made the wrong decision of partnering with a questionable person to start my passion project. I was looking to start a restaurant in Gurgaon. That person ended up deceiving me and I faced heavy losses. I had invested everything I had gone and had gotten scammed. I could do nothing but to go to the court. But that was my decision and I could not blame anyone else. While living in Gurgaon for a year, I used that time to learn the drums instead of getting upset and crying over what had already happened. In a year, I ended up performing at a renowned club in Delhi. I had a knack for thinking outside the box, so I wanted to combine my drumming with music. That was the crossroad that I was at then. How do I mix music and drumming together? Could I be a DJ? But then I thought to myself that I'm 45 years of age. How do I become a DJ? At the same time, I knew I wanted, to, I wanted something to channel my pain outwards. I wanted to do things to make me feel better at life again. I knew I had to take the plunge. It was clear that growing up music and sports were two of my absolute passions. With regards to sports, I'd already fulfilled what I wanted to do. But I was in two minds about becoming a DJ and combining it with drums. I did not want to regret it later that I did not give it a shot at least. So I left for Amsterdam and learned DJing at a prestigious music school. And today I am a DJ. Today I play at major clubs and recently won the Delhiites Top 10 DJ Award. Once you choose the path from the crossroads, you have to walk on your own with confidence and face it along. Importantly, and always giving it your best. Stand by it no matter what may come. And remember that when you say it, you should mean it. There is always a way to do things in life. If you want it bad enough, you will find a solution. Today, I'm at another crossroads. I had moved to Goa for my music as I wanted to launch my music intellectual property in Goa. However, due to the lockdown and the ongoing pandemic, I could not play much and launch my IP. Three months ago, I came across this beautiful place which was perfect for a restaurant and bar. It was something that I wanted to do six years ago and today the opportunity presented itself once again. I always knew that the purpose of coming to Goa was music and that will happen in time. But this opportunity may not come again. It was a difficult decision I had to take as I had an unpleasant experience earlier and all my loved ones were against it. But what helped me was my inner voice. But I also believe that opposition comes often. And like I said it earlier, it's important to make the right move at the right time. So I put in all my savings and jumped into it once again. 
a lot of people discouraged me saying that it's a loss making business and it won't make money for me but i never got into anything being negative you cannot doubt something that you believe in so passionately there will always be obstacles positives and negatives but what matters is how strongly or badly you want to fight for yourself giving up is never an option so as you leave the screen today i want you all to think and believe you can take the plunge too i want you to believe in yourself know your skills analyze your patterns and know what you enjoy doing the most we are not born in this world knowing exactly what we want to do with our lives we need to discover it so dig deep into yourself and find out what it is that you enjoy we need to be unconventional and age cannot limit you from meeting different crossroads i hope you discover yourself more to be able to take the plunge set your f- fears aside and you never know you might find something beautiful which would be your next big move lastly if you never had enough crossroad then my friend i want you to think have you lived enough